Hi guys, it's Black Rat from 258 and welcome to the channel. So today we're gonna do another tutorial about heroes and combos and also counters. So we're gonna see in this video and talk more generally about the three kind of uh, legion that you can find on Rise of Empires. So of course there's a lot of diversity on the legions, you can mix a lot of things, but we're gonna do it more simply and show the big the big kind of troops that you're gonna find and actually i consider that there's three big kind uh of legions and we're gonna see this and also the counters so let's start with the first one so the first one gonna be burst legion or glass cannon legion so the burst legions are legions that are full focused on the damage and have weak defense so of course those legions uh the goal is to do big 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 damage on the three first rounds to kill fast one of one of the legions of the opponent make them weak so you can win the the fight so you will see that it's because of some specific key heroes that this is possible and so we can see that the glass cannon legions or burst legions are strong against tick legions and i'm going to explain soon what is tick legion and they are weak against statues statue effects legion so you're going to see also soon what we are talking about about these legions so we're going to just show i'm going to show you some kind of uh, legions that you can find as a burst uh, legion I'm not going to show them all, of course, I'm just going to show you four of them so you can see what we are talking about, so you can understand what's a Burst Legion and what heroes you can find. So, of course, we can start with the first one, the most popular one in the beginning of the game, so the Beast Queen Rosen Immortal, who is, of course, a Burst Legion. You can find also Rosen Far Sendiata. Rosen, Spectral Reaper and Sakura and Rosen, Warden and Rainforest Well, it's gonna be actually pretty easy to know uh, what kind of hero you're gonna use on Burst Legions because I try to, to take uh, different heroes to show you a little bit uh, one of them so of course Rosen it's a must have on the Burst Legions because she had do those boosts of damage in the three rounds so she's made for uh, those glass cannon legions so it's really the hero that you need to have if you want to do a burst legion so of course there's immortals and yata uh, far also really important in those kind of combos sakura for the for the archery of course super important for the glass cannon legions so that's a kind of example that what uh, burst legion can be so let's continue now we're gonna continue with the statue effects legion i call them like this so what's statue effect legion so those statue effect legions are legions that apply effects effects like silence disarm suppress or confusion so those statues gonna use the damage of the enemy against themselves with the confusion or you're gonna just silence them so it means that they not gonna be able to attack so they are strong against burst legions and why they are strong against burst legions it's simple so uh those burst legions that we just saw uh they are made to do very very big damage on the three first rounds but if you have heroes that can that can silence silence them so or disarm or suppress or confusion uh, those heroes not going to be able to attack or they're going to eat themselves with the confusion also it's really strong so the confusion make the enemy attack himself or his legions so that's why those statue effects legions are super strong against the burst legions because they're gonna stop the damage in the first three rounds and if you if you are able for example to silence uh two times in those three rounds the damage that the 
the burst legion gonna mate gonna be really reduced so you're gonna have high chance to win against your opponents so that's why it's super strong against the burst legions but they are weak against tick combos but we're gonna see also soon what is tick combo and even explain why so now we're gonna also show some kind of some kind of combo so you can have uh, Ragnar uh, Black Prince and uh, Lilith I guess it's Lilith now you can have also Bleeding Steed Warhammer and Lilith Ragnar Bjorn I say I said Ragnar no it's Bjorn because they changed the name actually so so the Bray Bjorn and uh, Lilith and the last one of course one of the most popular now uh, the brave seed and avalanche so this is a kind of the here that you're gonna find also to do the statue effects legion so the one super important is brave brave is really super strong with the silence you have a lot of silence so you can make the enemy don't attack bleeding steed also super important with lilith because they both do confusion so it's gonna make the enemy attack himself so of course super strong because those big legions with big damage they're gonna do big damage but with the confusion they can hit themselves so they're gonna hurt themselves pretty bad and that's the kind of the heroes that you're gonna find in the main legions to do statue effects legion so let's continue now with the tick damage legion so a tick damage legion they have very consistent damage uh, why? Because a Tick Legion is a Legion who's gonna do not a lot of damage in one round, but they're gonna do almost the same damage every round. It's gonna mean that they have high percent in their skills, so their skills rarely gonna fail. And also, they usually the Legions who do this are have healing or tanking abilities, so they're gonna make them sustain and do those damage all the rounds all the rounds and tanking the damage from the upper so they are very strong against statue effects legion and why because statue effects legions gonna be super strong against those damage dealers of course as we saw but against those tick legions it's gonna be the opposite because they do small damage each round so of course if you silence a tick legion it's gonna be less problematic than uh, those big damage dealers because a big damage dealer if you silence them in the three first rounds they're gonna do almost zero damage but if you gonna um, silence a tick uh, legion he's still gonna be able to do damage later because he have this, those damage all the rounds so that's why it's super strong but in the opposite they're gonna be weak against burst combos why because a tick damage legion as i said usually have healing but the problem is that if the um, those big damage legions gonna kill your healer or gonna kill one of your legion or one of your uh, hero really fast in those three rounds uh the legion gonna be super weak and she's gonna lose so the burst combos are super strong against those tick damage legions because they don't gonna have time to put their damage all the rounds so the burst legion gonna have an advantage on them so let's show some of the combos that you can find on tick damage legions so you can find the most popular of course harshland scarlet healer there is also hellfire poison master and belisarius loman bleeding steed and Warhammer and Loman, Hellfire and Warhammer. So you can see that those legions are a little bit more defensive and you can see also that there's always a healer there. So in the first is, is the healer, uh, in the other one it's gonna be Bleeding Steed or Hellfire or Loman. So that's the goal of the tick damage legion. So they're gonna be doing healing and doing those small damage all the rounds all the rounds all the rounds so that's why it's going to be weak against those burst combos but it's going to be super strong against statue effects legion but you're going to see this now so 
let's open this so you're going to compare we're going to compare three of big legions of the moment in my season and you're going to see exactly what i was showing about those counters and we're going to see so we're going to start with arslan scarlet and healer and then we're going to put them to fight against the rosen para and sandiata which is a burst legion one of the biggest burst legion now in the moment so this legion gonna beat arslan really easily really easily it's one of the best counters now in the game against arslan so you can see as i said arslan is a tick legion and she is weak against burst damage so the rosen fara sandiata gonna be better than the arslan but we're gonna make them fight now the rosen with one of the statue effect legion and we're gonna make them fight against the brave seed and avalanche which is as i say a statue effect legion and of course the brave and seed avalanche gonna counter the rosen fara sandiata so she is stronger than the the sandiata legion but now let's see with the two last because if we see it here the brave is the best legion right because he beat uh, the sandiata legion and the sandiata legion beat arsene but no when you're going to compare the, the two it's going to be the same it's going to be all around because the brave seed avalanche going to be beat by the arslan combo because the arslan combo is a tick combo so tick combo gonna be stronger than a statue effect combo so it's working a little bit like uh the pokemons you know uh funny reference but the pokemons for example when you take the three basic type of pokemons you have the fire the fire get beat by the water the water get beat by the the plants and the plants gonna get beat by the fire so it's exactly the same that we have here the tick legion gonna be beat by burst damage legions and burst damage legions gonna get beat by statue effect legion and themselves gonna be beat by the tick legions so that's exactly how it works in rise of empire so of course we're doing like a kind of general uh general view it's just to show you so you can understand a little bit how it works the counters because of course uh, it's not gonna work all the time because sometimes some legions gonna get countered by another specific legion and also there's some legions who are not only focused in damage or tick for example you can find some legions who are gonna do uh, a little bit of statue effects and a little bit of tick damage so that also gonna work sometimes so it's really depending but what you need to understand is that this is the global view about the counters because for example the arslan have one counter also super strong uh it's a loman bleeding steed and warhammer and uh, this is a kind of mix about uh, statue effects because bleeding is more a kind of statue effects uh hero with the confusion and all other eaters are more like tick damage eaters so it's a kind of mix of the two types so this is really important to understand like this so um, i think we're done i tried to explain this uh, the most easiest as possible so few of you some people like me i was like this also i was not understanding about anything in the beginning i was just okay i'm gonna just uh, look to the board and watch for the best legion and play with it and then i was losing and i was like what i am playing the best legion why why i'm losing why why so i was not searching about those counter legions and also those kind of counter type of legion so that's why it's super important to pay attention to this i i really try to make this simple as possible so many of you are gonna try to understand a little bit more how it works actually so i hope i helped you to understand this uh, as much as possible so if you have some questions of course you can ask on the comments uh, i will try to answer the the best as i can 
and I'm going to leave you with this video and I see you soon for the next. Peace out.